I think so. You talked about the reach advantage that Antonio Silva enjoys. Seven and a half inch reach advantage, huge size advantage as well. Are you ready? Let's go, fight, guys. Antonio Bigfoot Silva, over his last few fights, has been nice. working on his boxing. Beautiful takedown. Well timed by Silva, coming in underneath the overhand right and taking Fedor down, putting him on his back. Yeah, very strategic move. I like that. And Fedor was coming with the power on that punch, too. I think a lot of people underestimated. I know the odds were something like five and a half to one, Fedor being the favorite. I mean, Antonio Silva as a BJJ black belt, a formidable striker, and again, size does play a factor. Fedor Emelianenko, for all of his strengths and all of his uh, prowess, is an undersized heavyweight. He's finding that out in this fight. And Silva's doing a good job of continually pressing through that guard and trying to advance his position. You can see his left leg hooked on the leg there. Of Fedor, he's opening up his legs and he's just marching forward. Grandmaster and Sambo, self-defense without weapons, loosely translated from Russia. The crowd, of course, a huge Russian contingent gust, chanting the Fedor name. In the first round, they stood for three minutes and 55 seconds and were on the ground for a minute and five. <laughs> and now, Silva passing, getting the side control. North-south now, and this could be dangerous for Fedor Emelianenko. Which is to the other side. Wow, neon belly. This uh, Silva very comfortable here, and he the mounted wow. him easily. And this is what I was worried trouble. about. And these aren't hammer fists; these are sledgehammer fists. And he's got his back. Oh, I stretched him out there. Fedor's got to get his back to the mat again. He's going to have to avoid the blows to do it. Dean Fedor Emelianenko in trouble before, going back to his pride days, gets Kazuki Fujita. And the energy it takes to roll over like that and push through Silva's weight, that's going to fatigue him out. He's going for the choke. Emelianenko in all kinds of trouble, eating these hammer fists. He's got to get his feet on that cage. That's too big of a man on top of him. He needs a little more height to get that and take advantage of it. And we still have two minutes and 44 seconds remaining in this second round. The great champion in trouble. Silver. Ground and pound. Fedor looks defenseless now. This could be about to end. Antonio Bigfoot Silva putting it on the great Fedor Emelianenko. Silva is absolutely manhandling Don and he should side choke Fedor right here. He should, he should trap his arm and side choke him. And going, that's what he's going that's for. That's what he should do. Going for the arm triangle choke. That's Fedor's a big man. in trouble. If he could get his body, if Silva can get his body to the side, he's going to choke him out. Size matters, my friends. We're seeing it here. And he, he goes. That's really bad positioning. He is choking him with his own arm there. Fedor. That's a bad the spot. The crowd is sitting on pins and needles. They're stunned at what they're seeing. Someone's got to get that arm a little further across his face. And Fedor wow. turns out of it. Wow. The crowd explodes here in New Jersey. A nice escape by Fedor. But how much energy has is he expended? This has been a, a round dominated by Antonio Silva. And Emelianenko exhausted, hanging on for dear life with a minute and 20 to go in the second round. Scheduled for three, five minute rounds. This is the Strike Force Grand Prix Heavyweight Tournament. The on Showtime. Antonio Bigfoot Silva said he needed to beat a legend, to become a legend. And right now he's in good shape with a minute to go. How did you score the first round, Frank? Because it was very competitive. This one obviously belongs to Antonio Silva. Yeah, I would have, uh, I don't know about the first round. I might have given it to Fedor, but this one is all Silva. Is there an argument for a 10-8 round? Because be. of the near submission. Could be. What you, what's hard to tell is to fight out of a choke is a tremendous movement. Oh, oh knee bar! He's in a knee bar. Now that knee's just below his groin, so it's not exactly on it, but that's gotta hurt. 26 seconds to go. 
Amelia Nichols, eyes swollen. Amelia Nichols going to go for a leg lock. He's going for a Sambo leg lock. The Grand Master and Sambo. Not affecting Silva at all. He's going to try to break the big foot. Six seconds. Nope. <laughs> Not at all. He'll just wait. What? And what a round. Dominant round by Antonio Silva. 